Hello world, today I am going to unbox, install, XMP overclocked, benchmark and performance test the unknown gel super loose quad channel 16GB DDR4 running at 3000 MHz. Alright, so let's go ahead and open it. Nobody seems to know anything about this RAM. It's a new model, it's not famous like Corsair Dominator or G Skill or Corsair Vengeance or anything like that. But it seems to be pretty solid. It's a new RAM, new model that came out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. And I want to unbox it and I want to review it. And I want to test it on my computer. And I'm gonna test it with my X99A from Asus. And also, I am going to test it with my chipset, my Intel i7 5820K. I wanna test the performance and how it looks, but most of it, I like the outside. It comes very well packaged, very good. And here it is. It's thin, it's not too thick, which is one of the good things about it. Now this is gonna go for my Skylake build. This logo here looks like the Superman logo, but I like this here, it's got plastic and white LED. So we're gonna watch that shortly. So we got those two here are eight gigs of RAM, and here we got the other eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, like I said, that is gonna go for my build, for my Skylake build. But I wanted to unbox it and I wanted to review it for you guys because some people don't know anything about this RAM. But I like the fact that it's white, okay? And I'm gonna put it on my X99 build and I'm going to test it. This set of DDR4, latest benchmark in DDR4 hardcore gaming series, Super Loose, is equipped with the iLoose thermal beaming technology. Users will be able to observe real-time temperature condition of memory modules through the different LED breathing light tempos directly from the super loose heat spreader. As the working temperature of the memory rises, the tempo of the breathing light goes up in five different levels. Level one is with the mildest tempo and the lowest temperature range of 40 celsius while level 5 being the most rapid with the highest temperature range of above 55 celsius the following are the different temperature ranges with the corresponding breathing light beats per minute of the five levels level number one at 40 celsius beats 13 times per minute level number two between 40 and 45 celsius beats 60 times per minute or 60 bits per minute level number three between 45 and 50 celsius 80 bits per minute means that it blinks 80 times between for the four modules level number four between 50 and 55 celsius beats 120 times per minute between modules level number five which is the maximum it's 200 beats per minute super loose is available in three different led color Super loose white, super loose red, and super loose blue. Alright guys, well, right here I'm going to fast forward the boot up time. Right here I just installed the RAM, so this is the first boot up. I'm trying to see if my motherboard is going to cring or act up on it. That's what That was my fear, so I said I'm going to record the boot up. And you know what guys, the motherboard recognized the DDR4 RAM, the modules, the, the sticks, it, it recognized it and it set it up to the overclock, the XMP overclock that I had with the Corsair Dominator and I'm going to show you that on the screen right now. Let's go into the BIOS so we can check the overclock. So this is my first time on the BIOS with this RAM. So I came over here to check the megahertz speeds and as you can see right there it picked up the megahertz of my other RAM, the 2666. You can see right there and the XMP it reads 3000 but it's not at 3000 so I manually had to go down there into my overclock to XMP overclock my 
DDR4, my new RAM, the RAM that I am testing right now with my X99 and my i7 uh, 5820K and I have that overclocked at 4.5 GHz, 4500 MHz and I wanted to run uh, the benchmark of the RAM and also uh, a stability test to see how stable was this uh, computer so let's go into that right now I'm going to change the speed of uh, 2666 to 3000 so as you can see right there I am selecting my speeds because I want to be able to use the 3000 megahertz that I paid for so I'm looking for it and I forgot that I had to scroll down and I found it right there so after that I exit the BIOS and I'm good to go now it's time to test so here I am with Ada64 Extreme running the stability test on my computer along with this RAM and I also did benchmarks so watch till the end of this video what do I have to say about it what do I have to say about the gaming performance well right here I only recorded 11 minutes of a stability test which I fast forward and I also skip that part because I don't want to make a 20 30 minute video so what do I have to say am I happy with it yes I am I'm not dissatisfied the computer the RAM my games my programs are running perfectly fine so I am not disappointed what do I have to say about the benchmarks well I'm not going to say anything about it I'm going to let you watch for yourself now right here I did a little fast forward of this part but I have to say guys give it a try right now this 16 gigabytes DDR4 3000 megahertz it's running for $149 which I have a feeling that the price is gonna go up and uh, I got it from New Egg and I have to say guys for my Sky Lake build this is going to be the perfect DDR4 RAM and I am happy and I am satisfied with it there is no crashes there is no boot up fails there is no bottlenecking there is no throttling with my CPU it's allowing my uh, i7 5820k to run perfectly fine on its 4.5 uh, gigahertz so why would I complain right here I am running the memory benchmark you can see right here for yourself I'm not going to say it's badass it's not good I'm going to let you judge for yourself now I am going to do a memory benchmark versus the 16 gigabytes of DDR4 Corsair Dominator uh, running at 2666 I want to see the difference on, of, of, of um, read and write and copy and latency and cache speeds so stay tuned for that video if you want to watch it guys thank you for watching my video I hope that it was helpful to you and what do I have to say is it worth buying this RAM yes it is worth it give it a try just give yourself a try I have seen some other people out there with this RAM and they have not complained and so far right now until this moment there is two hours of stress test running on my computer and it hasn't crashed so that's great i'll see you guys next time